Yo, what's going on and welcome to Vince Bracey on Air. In this edition, I get to check in with my guy, the very talented Donnie Bosco, to talk about how he's been doing and his brand new project that recently dropped. Enjoy the interview. The truth is, I never want to lie, never want the pain, I never want to cry, never want the rain, never want to cry, I just want to be consolation flag. I heard that you're from Venus, yeah, you can find me in the stars, I came here in my spaceship light years away so far, baby, and I came here just for you, from this planet love your point of view. We getting higher than our altitude Shorty take a ride up in my spaceship coupe I know you heard of me They play my music in the galaxy Ladies and gentlemen, Donnie Bosco, he's a he's an artist uh, based out of New Rochelle, New York uh he's very very talented uh i i don't know how i don't know when we're gonna hear some of his some of his vocals uh <laughs> but shout out to shout out to him for uh for putting together such an amazing uh amazing project uh i, I had Lessons, to let him know bro. i had to let him know again like i'm always inspired when like i know people have talent i know people have dreams and they want to accomplish things uh and i think he's doing i think he's doing just that uh just by putting together you know using his resources to uh to get some dope music out there in the streets and uh yeah man this this dude used to be my choir director not just my friend but like i i've, I've literally <laughs> i've literally watched him uh create you know what i'm saying create sounds put uh put choruses together and stuff like that so uh donnie bosco welcome to the show man Yo, thank you so much for having me, bro. Thank you so much, man. Yo, happy to have you here, man. So tell me, tell me about the last, I mean, we had an interview. Anybody that wants to check out uh, your last interview with me, uh, it is available on YouTube. All you got to do is type in Vince Bracey, Donnie Bosco. Uh, but at this time, Resentment Volume 1, the EP is now available for you guys on all platforms. How did this come about, man? Man, listen. <laughs> Yo, so um, I just turned, I recently celebrated a, uh, a birthday. Right. I just turned 30. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Big and one too, big one. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, man, it's scary. <laughs> and um, I don't know, man. I kind of wanted to get my life together at, at the end of 29. And I thought that that was going to mean, you know, being in a relationship, you know, kind of start, start looking at things, you know, like that. But my heart was broken. And I kind of started to think about, like the past 10 years and all the heartbreaks I've had over the past 10 years. And I mm -hmm. realized that, yo, I want to use it as, as, as some inspiration to make some dope music. Okay. So I'll, you know, yeah, man, had my heart broken twice. Ah, <laughs> man. I mean, that's, that's, it's unfortunate. And I think, uh, I actually heard shout out to, uh, articulate again. I heard, uh, on his interview this morning, uh, Zani, uh, who's also just dropped a project yesterday, uh, said the same thing. So I think, I think we can all we can all uh, attribute and even in in the entanglement situation like heartbreak man. <laughs> heartbreak you know what I'm saying <laughs> it, it makes it makes good music so uh so is that is that where the title of this came from Yeah man yeah man I I worked hard to not be resentful of anything and I realized that kind of like what Jay-Z said I I don't see it coming down my eyes so I got to make the song cry Damn right Yeah I, I, I can't see myself ever being resentful of something that's happened in my past. So instead of holding it in, you know, try to get it out in, in the music. You feel me? Right, right. So uh, we just heard uh, we just heard Constellation Fly. Uh, that was the very first joint on the on the album. I'm gonna play another song for you guys at the at the end of this interview. But uh, tell me about tell me about Constellation Fly and uh, why why that was the one that you that you chose to uh to start with because the truth is i don't ever want to die either <laughs> yo bro so <laughs> it's funny i think i wrote that um story time the first time i got high i was just um <laughs> that's always a good story <laughs> first, the first time i got high sorry mom if you hear this one day but the first time i got high i was i think i was like 14 15 and um i was high for like three days straight bro Ooh. no lie it was it was it was terrible i was i was off and um i remember writing down something like yo the truth is i never want to die i never want to rain i never want to cry okay and it's something that stuck with me you know throughout my 20s 
Like, yo, the truth is I want to live life to the fullest. Damn right. You know what I mean? Regardless of what anything happens, regardless of who's there, who's not, regardless of what I have or what I don't have, I can't live life, you know, thinking all about dying or being sad or whatever it is. So I think I think I started off started off the album with it because it was it's the truth of my twenties. The truth of you know the twenties, I mean? yes. Constellation fly, yeah. man. Like and I thought, you know, to me, I took it as like I want to be up in the clouds. I want to be, you know, as as fly, as well known, yeah, as man. popular as the stars, man, as as the Big Dipper and the Ursa Miners and whatnot. <laughs> you know? Yeah, man. That's it. And I think for most for most of us indie artists, that's kind of the dream. Like to make sure that to make your music pop somewhere. But I think it's even bigger than that. It's like even if that doesn't happen, how do I feel about myself? Like I could, I could literally sit down and listen to these albums. Hey, not because I made them, but because I'm a big fan of the people who who are on them. Right. And it's like, how do you see yourself? You know, what I mean, how, how do you see that inspiring you? Very dope, very dope. So talk talk to us about the uh, the uh, the collaborations that you have on this project. Uh, as we know, uh, Donnie Bosco's last project, Everything Is Art, made its rounds here on Station Head. Very dope. Again, we didn't we didn't hear too much of his own voice because uh, he's a he's a I'm trying to think what the a composer, if you will. Like he's the one that puts it all I'm, together. So I'm saying the DJ Khaled of jazz. He's the DJ like, <laughs> Khaled of jazz. That's a good that's a good way to put it. And I'm trying to you know that's like, a good that's a good way to put it. I've been telling you I've been trying to get into uh into my music bag as well to put together uh put together certain artists and stuff like that. But uh I think you you found you found like a core group of people that are down for you and they know who they are and what they're capable of. And I think you, you just did a good job at putting together the perfect sound for them. So how, how did, how did these, did you find these people and how did you uh, decide to put them together on these songs? So the big thing is this album wasn't supposed to happen. I was coming out, I was working on a, a, act, a full length album called um, art and pain. Okay. Kind of similar to the same topic, but more so, more broad. It wasn't about, you know, heartbreaks and love. It was more so about just life. Um, and then COVID happened, and the quarantine happened, and nobody was coming up. You know what I mean? So um, it was a blessing because my engineer lives right around the corner from me. And he also sings, and he's the main voice that you'll hear on this album. Um, his name is Is Nate. He lives right around the corner from me. Literally, ah, like, a block away. <laughs> Very dope. So, working with him one night, I'm like, yo, bro, you're going to have to sing, sing, you're going to have to sing all the songs. <laughs> That's good. And everybody that doesn't um, know is Nate, he's a super dope artist. He just dropped a project, I think, probably towards the Saturday that we used the quarantine as, like, a time scale, but I think it was, like, uh, yeah. like a month or so into the quarantine. Right, 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 right. And, um, you know, from that, you know, we sat down, we kind of mapped out everything, and it just fit. It fit because, one, I try to make sure that whoever is singing it or whoever is performing, they have a lot. They have some say into the project. Because mm. there's nothing worse with being, than being an artist that someone asks you to do something and it's like, well, you know, you're not valuing my art. So, you know, I, I try to make sure that whoever I'm working with, the artist has a voice in whatever song that they're working on. So I think that collaboration worked very well with Nate. Um, the rapper that you'll hear, his name is Devron, DC Chambers. Um, and he's another dope artist from, he lives down the block from me also. Okay. So it's just about collaborating, working with the people close to you, trying to beat COVID any way you can. That's good. Yeah, I was very excited to hear some uh, some rap on this one too, because I, I don't think the, la the last one was all was all singing, if I'm correct. Yeah, mostly singing. There was There was one rap on it. And I'm a fan of New York rap. Like <laughs> that's one reason why I, I love hope. Station Head. Because I, I hear, I hear, I hear so much dope rap, dope hip hop, and it's like, yo, I want that. I want that sound. I'm inspired by that sound. So yeah, man. That's real. That's real. So yeah. So the next, uh, I forget what what the next song I have for you guys. Again, uh, if you guys are not aware, Resentment EP Volume One is available for you guys uh, currently. Uh, the next song I have loaded up is is Red Flag. So I'm gonna play that at the end of the interview. But uh, yeah, man, how have, how have you been dealing with this? Was was this something that like you already told us that you know it came from heartbreak? But the situation that we're in right now is this is this 
of forcing you to uh to dig deeper into your bag and try to bring bring more music to the people yeah man so one thing is you know after a hundred or some odd days of quarantine however long it's been like you know you just get antsy i need to get out i need to do something so i think it's made me yeah man (laughs) it's made me appreciate nice plug i love it i love it (laughs) (laughs) it's made me appreciate kind of what i have um kind of the sound that i have and it's forcing me to be creative because after every, you know making music every day you start sounding the same you start True. you start hearing the same thing so it's, it's forced me to practice more bro mm. you know i'm up to practicing a couple hours a day now so it's just forcing me to get better and the best part about it you know funny um, the best part about it is that it's not a competition. Like, yes. I don't feel like, I feel like with before COVID, everything was, okay, what is this next person doing? And how can I make sure that I'm keeping up? After, you know, during COVID, it's more like, okay, what is it that I'm lacking? What, how can I fill in these holes? How can I fill in these gaps in my music? Right. How can I become a better writer? How can I become a better producer? How can I inspire people more with my music? How can I work on my craft more? So... You know, I think I think that's the main difference with the COVID. It forces you to look in, internally. It forces you to look within and say, okay, how can I become, you know, the person who I want to be? Right. Yeah, I, I like I like what you said uh, about that a lot because, like I said, you inspired me a lot uh, just by putting out projects. Anybody that's doing something in this time, uh, especially music wise, like it it always makes me look back at myself like, damn, I'm not working hard enough. Even though at the same time, you said. Uh, you said that it, you don't have to you don't have to measure up to anybody. So uh, I I got to give you a compliment. I feel like your stuff every time I've heard your stuff, like I can't put a finger on what it sounds like. Uh, so I know Ooh. you have you have roots in in jazz, uh, even in gospel and uh, other types of music and stuff like that. You're you're a, a musician yourself, uh, and you also produce this whole thing, right? Yeah, I produce everything. Right. So I'm I'm curious to know like how. How do you, what would, what would you describe your sound as? And when it comes to, uh, when it comes to your music, like, I, I don't know, man, just how, how do you, how do you dis- decide what direction you're going to go in? Cause like I said, I, this, the stuff sounds good. So you, we know that you know music, but is like, where does it, where does it come from? Is it just a, uh, do you start with the keyboard? Do you go to, uh i want to i want to this is the message that i want to put out and this is the music that comes behind it what is what is your uh your thought process process. in this all right so i think the the main thing um i start off with chords i start Mm. off at the piano and what i'll do is kind of like how you know guitar players have a loop machine and they'll loop something over and over again and they'll play over it that's what I, i i i do so i start off with a loop of something and I try to make it make sense musically. Mm. So sometimes you might find something that's dope, but singers can't sing over it or a rapper can't rap over it. And that's what it's good for. It's good for instrumental. Other times you, you hear something and it's like, okay, it, the instrumental is missing something, but I know that the vocals is going to fill it in. So um, I start off with chords. Um, I start off with concepts. Um, sometimes I'll start off with a singer. If there's a singer that I want, or a rapper that I want on something, I'm gonna listen to their stuff and say, okay, what is their vibe, and how can I put my vibe on in, in with theirs? Right on. Um, my main thing um, is getting people up and moving. You know what I mean? Like, I, like that. I love I love trying to get people dancing or moving in their seats or whatever the case may be. So whatever whatever the groove is, it has to be groovy. It has to be something that you can bop to. Cool. Um, and I think that's my main that's my main thing. You know, if I can get people up dancing, it doesn't. I don't care what kind of music it is, what kind of genre it is, as long as I can get people up and moving. Right on. Nah, that's the. I think that's the best way to. That's the best way to go about it. So, uh, like I said, I do have another song loaded up that I want to play for the people. Uh, I always gotta ask people uh, about their dreams and what they have uh, lined up next. So, if you if you have something that you focus on, you talked about. Uh, Art and Pain, is that a project that's still that's still going to be uh, existing? Absolutely, absolutely. So Art and Pain, I have to wait because the, the main thing is that these albums, I want them to be compilation albums. I want mm-hmm. you to be able to listen to, to it like a playlist 
um, or like an entire album straight through and not be bored of it. So my, the first thing is making sure that I can get artists safely to and from the studio. Okay. You know what I mean? Right. You know, whether it be, you know, spotting for cabs or picking people up or... So whenever I can start that process, I, the Art and King project will, will probably be out. To be honest with you, um, just between me and you and everybody listening, <laughs> um, it's more. It's most likely that it's more likely that I'll come out with another EP before okay. I come out with another album. Ain't nothing wrong just with that. Just because of the way it looks. Yeah, man. That's good. Yeah, so man. let us let us know about the dreams, man. I want to close out. I always uh, I always try to ask people like what they what they see for themselves. Uh, and also, if you have any questions in the chat, I had I had some. Uh, I think Jazz is asking about your uh, your musical your musical inspirations, specifically uh, relationships with any, any anybody like Robert Glasper or anything like that. Uh, which we know you a, you a jazz head, so I, we know you uh, we into that stuff. Yeah, but, man. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you about that. Then I'm gonna ask you about the dreams. So, inspiration. So, I listen to everything from like Robert Glasper to Corey Henry, all all the like heavy jazz cats I listen to. But I also listen to like. I grew up listening to 50 Cent. I hey, love 50 same, Cent. Same. I love that gritty, gritty New York sound. Um, and I think you could hear that a little bit of that on this project. Um, I grew up listening to like Bob Marley. You know, I grew up listening to all these different people. And I think it's just a combination of different, different great music. You know what I mean? Like there's so many great musicians that even on the local scene, even on, even on, um, on Station Head, there's so many artists that I listen to. Like, yo, that is so dope. Yeah, that I'm is inspired so dope. all the time. Like, man. Yeah, man, like for real, for real. So let us know about the let us know about the dreams. What is next for Donnie Bosco? What is what is what is he trying to accomplish? Uh, what what is there a goal? Is there a you know, or do you just want to be Constellation Fly? You're just trying to float through through the, through the galaxy in the universe, um, um, spilling spilling knowledge everywhere. So. The goal is if I, if I could live in a perfect world um, where my, where money isn't a factor, I would go around and perform, ah. record and perform. I think live music is the best thing since sliced bread. I don't think you could get any better than live music. Um, I used to think that production was was whack until I actually got into it and realized how hard it was. It's hard. So <laughs> it's hard, man. Very hard. So. And then taking your ideas from a production standpoint where you have unlimited space to record something and making that on, putting that on stage where you only have like three musicians or four musicians, mm. you know, I mean, getting that, getting that balance is, would be the next step for me. So live music, um, more music being put out. I wish if I had the resources, I wish I could put out music every week. If I had the you know people to actually collaborate with, I would put out music every week. I would love Same. to collaborate with some people via, you know, Station Head. You know, I would love to. I would love, love, love to work with you know anybody. You know, what I mean, just put out some music, see where it goes. All right, and let us know what's next for you, man. What you got? What you what you cooking up? Or where? What? Uh, if there's anything that you want to tell the people, uh, before we get out of here. All right, so there's um. There's another project that I want to work on. It's one of the singers from my last project, she's amazing. Her name is Phoenix. Oh. Um, she just dropped a song, too. I'll send it to you um, in the chat later. Check it out, check it out. But, um, but yeah, man, uh, I want to work on the album for our EP with her and see where that takes us. Um, but just pushing, man, pushing more music, trying to, trying to become you know, more popular within you know, different ears. Just trying to make it. Damn right, damn right, and that's what it's all about. Uh, I want to play uh, Red Flags. I want to close out this interview with Red Flags. Uh, once again, everybody in the chat, we have Donnie Bosco on here. His project just dropped. Uh, please make sure you guys are getting that. It's available for you guys on all platforms. Very, very short listen, but it's sweet at the same time. Uh, can you can you intro Red Flags for us? Let us know what we're about to listen to. Red Flags. Um, one of my favorite songs on the album, on the EP, um, it's about knowing that someone is bad for you and still going after them. <laughs> okay, straight up. <laughs> relationships that we all love. Uh, yeah, man. So I hope you guys enjoy it.
Let's get it. Let's get it. So shout out to uh, Donnie Bosco, of course, is Nate and the rappers D Chambers. Yeah, D Chambers. D Chambers. Yes. Shout out to like I said, I'm happy to hear some rap on there. So we're going to get into this right now. Thank you, Donnie Bosco. Please drop all your information in the chat. Uh, I know you guys can yes. follow him on Instagram at Donnie underscore Bosco. Uh, again, the Project Resentment Volume 1 EP is available for you guys on all platforms. Let's get into the red flags. Thank you again for listening to Vince Bracey on air. You can catch my show every Tuesday at 12 noon to 2 p.m. on Station Edge. As always, I'm sending you out with peace, positivity. Remember to get to the bag and always follow your dreams. Red flags, red flags on ya. 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 Yo, I gave you me, that was all that I had Despite all the warnings, I ignored all the flags Swimming in the deep end, far from the shore Should've saw the red flags when you said you wasn't sure Attitude crazy, thought you was my baby Shot me in my heart like you held a tray 80 You red, don't debate me, mental kinda crazy Now you now you probably mad cause I ghost like Swayze Sharks in the water, but I still win Swimming, never lose when you use So consider me winning, still took a risk So you had your mind fixed, you going for my heart I would never reminisce, my God. Red flags, red flags on your Red flags, red flags on ya. Red flags, red flags on ya. Red flags on the beach means stones. Red flags on your body means jumping. Red flags, red flags on ya. Red flags, red flags on ya. Hey, it don't matter what you do. It don't matter what you do. Girl, you know I'm coming through.